Hello and welcome to the second part of the lecture that we were doing. Uh, the topic was agriculture and my name is Ashwin Joglekar. I am from Resonance uh, PCCP division and I am a faculty of social science here. So now let us quickly start with the chapter uh, that is uh, part second of the chapter agriculture. Now previously we had done about or we had seen about uh, the introduction part of the chapter that is what is agriculture, then the importance of agriculture and the types of farming which are practiced in India and also the cropping patterns or cropping seasons. Now, Today we will be looking at the major crops uh, that are uh, there in India which are grown apart from that uh, some non-food crops and food crops other than grains and some of the technological and institutional reforms which are practiced uh, which are being initiated by the government. All right, starting with uh, major crops the first one is rice. Second largest uh, producer of rice that is India after, uh, in the world after China. It is a staple food crop of a majority of people in India. and the climatic conditions which are required and generally this uh, comes as a question uh, in your boards also like mention of the climatic conditions which are required for uh, the growth uh, growing of rice or cultivation of rice. A tropical kharif plant requires high temperature and high humidity, requires high temperature above 25 degree uh, Celsius. Rainfall that is above 100 centimeter remember it is a kharif crop alright. So uh, it is sown after the onset of monsoon. Irrigation required in areas of where there is less rainfall. Production areas grown uh, in the plains of north and northeastern India, coastal areas and the deltaic regions uh, also. Irrigation has made it possible to grow rice in areas of less rainfall such as Punjab, Haryana and western part of Uttar Pradesh and parts of Rajasthan. All right. So uh, on the map you can see the major producing areas of uh, rice. All right. So this is the major area All right, and these are the minor areas where rice is cultivated. Next is your wheat, second in uh, most important uh, food crop of the country, main food crop in north and northwestern part of the country, climatic condition it is a rubby crop requires a cool growing season and a bright uh, season at the time of ripening, a sunshine or bright uh, season during the time of ripening, requires 50 to 75 centimeter of rainfall which is evenly distributed over the growing season, production areas are uh, wheat growing zones are the Ganga, Satlash Plains, Black Soil region of the Deccan and major producing states are Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Bihar. Again you can see it on the map here major producing areas of wheat alright. So this is the region that is the north part of the country alright major and minor regions. Next is our millets okay known as coarse grains that is uh, provides the roughage coarse grains have a high nutritional value. Uh, among them are jowar, bajra and ragi. Jowar is the third most important food crop after rice and wheat in India. Rain fed crop and which is mostly grown in moist areas. Maharashtra is the largest producer followed by Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Bajra again grows well on sandy soils and shallow black soil. Rajasthan is the largest producer followed by Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra and ragi. Ragi is again a crop of dry regions, grows, grows well on red, black, sandy, loamy soils and Karnataka is the largest producer. Then comes maize that is corn used again uh, both as food as well as fodder crop, coarse grain a kharif crop temperature required between 25, 21 to 27 degree Celsius and grows well in allu old alluvial soil. Major producing states are Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh. Pulses important again in India there is an importance of uh, pulses because of the source of major source for the protein and most of the people are vegetarian so therefore. So major source of protein India is the largest producer as well as consumer of pulses in the world that is we produce them uh, we are the largest producer as well as the largest consumers. Being leguminous crops they also help in restoring the natural fertility of the soil needs less moisture and survive even in dry conditions. Some major pulses are tuar or arhar, orad, moong, masoor, peas and gram. And uh, producing states are Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Karnataka. Moving on to the next one is uh, non-food crops that is rubber and uh, fiber crops we have cotton, jute. Now rubber an equatorial crop also grown in tropical and subtropical regions also. It requires more than 200 centimeter of uh, rainfall and uh, requires moist and humid climate. Ranks uh, India ranks fifth among the world's natural rubber producers and uh, mainly grown in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. 
कर्नाटका एंड अंडमान एंड निकोबार एंड गारो हिल्स ऑफ मेघालय फाइबर क्रॉप कॉटन इंडिया इज बिलीव टू बी द ओरिजिनल होम ऑफ द कॉटन प्लांट इज द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ कॉटन इन द वर्ल्ड and cotton grows well in drier parts of the black cotton soil of the deccan plateau region requires high temperature light rainfall or irrigation and 210 frost free days and bright sunshine which is required that is uh, without frost a kharif crop requires again 6 to 8 months to mature the cotton plant and major producing states are maharashtra andhra pradesh tamil nadu haryana punjab and uttar pradesh that is uh, again explain the term here 210 frost frost free days that is uh, without the frost the seasons between uh, that is the first month and then there is a gap of 210 uh, days so that there is no frost in those uh, days so therefore 210 frost free days now this can only be found majorly in the tropical uh, regions or the torrid uh, climatic zones okay so uh, moving on to the next one jute that is uh, it's a golden fiber which uh, grows well on well uh, drained fertile soils in the flood plains high temperature is required west bengal bihar assam and odisha are uh, the major producing states used in making gunny bags mats ropes yarn carpets and other artifacts now food crops which are other than uh, probably grains that is sugarcane again sugar cane is a major uh, source of sugar sugar uh, gur khansari and molasses different types of uh, sweeteners requires uh, hot and humid climate temperatures between 21 to 27 uh, rainfall is between 75 to 100 cm needs manual labor in large numbers india is the second largest producer of sugar cane producing states are uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh bihar punjab and haryana next is horticulture crops that is uh, your fruits and vegetables or flowers India is the largest producers of fruits and vegetables in the world and producers of tropical as well as temperate fruits and again now mangoes of maharashtra andhra pradesh uttar pradesh west bengal oranges of nagpur chera punji bananas of kerala mizoram maharashtra and tamil nadu and lychee and guava of uttar pradesh pineapples of meghalaya grapes of andhra pradesh and maharashtra uh, pears apricots walnuts of jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh are in great demand the world over India produces about 13% of world's vegetable and important producer of pea cauliflower onion cabbage and other vegetables all right next is your oil seeds that is in 2017 india was the second largest producer of groundnut in the world after china and are edible that is uh, for eating and used as cooking mediums also some of these are used as raw material in the production of soap cosmetics and ointments largest producer of oil seeds in india that is a uh, covers about 12% of the total cropped area uh, which is groundnut actually which is the la largest produced oil seed in india uh, most important oil seed and main oil seeds uh, produced in india are groundnut mustard coconut uh, sesamum that is til soya bean castor seeds cotton seeds linseed and sunflower groundnut which is the most important oil seed accounts for about half of the major oil seeds and major producing states are andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka gujarat and maharashtra all right then uh, till a rain fed crop kharif crop in the north and it is also rabi crop in the south castor seed is uh, which is grown both as rabi and kharif crop then we come to the beverage crops that is tea and coffee again tea was introduced by the britishers in india an important beverage crop introduced in india by the british grows well in tropical as well as subtropical climates endowed with deep and fertile well drained soil rich in humus and organic matter requires warm and moist again a uh, free climate frost free climate frequent showers evenly distributed over the year a um, labor intense intensive industry requires abundant cheap and skilled labor major producing states assam west bengal tamil nadu kerala and apart from these also grown in himachal pradesh uttarakhand uh, or uttarachal uttaranchal sorry meghalaya andhra pradesh and tripura in 2017 india was the second largest producer of tea after china then we come to coffee the arabica variety of coffee which is there in india was actually imported from or uh, came from yemen and it is grown in the baba budan hills region produces about 4% of the world's total coffee production that is uh, in india the arabica variety produced in in the country is in great demand the world over cultivated in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu again a uh, feature of 
horticulture crops here which you have already seen. Now comes uh, the next part that is uh, with the various technological as well as the in institutional reforms which have been introduced by the government to strengthen or uh, give necess necessary boost to the agriculture in India. Now, the first is uh, related to technological reforms that is the Persian wheel now has been replaced by water pumps, plow by the tiller and harrow uh, is, uh, which is drawn by tractors, bullock carts by trucks. So, all these have they have been an advancement. All weather roads, faster means of communication have been introduced, flooding of fields are uh, have been now been replaced by drip irrigation and use of sprinklers, chemical fertilizers, bio fertilizers, HYV seeds and early maturing quality seeds have been introduced or developed. Institutional reform that is government abolished the zamindari system followed with the consolidation of small land holdings, widespread use of radio and television to again uh, educate people about the various farming practices and uh, how they can actually get more uh, production from their uh, piece of available land. That is providing knowledge to farmers in new and improved techniques and special weather bulletins have also been introduced. Like generally uh, on most of the local channels uh, in different states, in the evening there is a program which is uh, Kisan Bhai, like in India, uh, in Rajasthan also Kisan Bhai ke liye ek program chalaya jata hai, jiske through again evening pe jo uh, radio channels hote hai, uske through uh, Kisanon se baat kari jati hai, unko bataya jata hai ki kis tarah se wo apne farming ko better kar sakte hai, kaise nai chijay introduce karke and jiski again costing bhi kam hai, wo apna production ultimately ya apne liye resources jada kar sakte hai. That is, they can have uh, increase their profits. Crop insurance has been introduced to protect the farmers against a loss by natural or man-made disaster uh, calamities. Available of capital or investment through banks and cooperative societies have been introduced. Minimum support prices for these farmers have been uh, provided by the government. Kisan credit card has been uh, started, KCC, as well as the personal accident insurance scheme has also been started. That is, PIAS are some uh, schemes introduced by the government for the benefit of the farmers. Moving on next, now this uh, portion has been uh, deducted for this uh, or rationalized content for this year's uh, exam. So, probably we will be skipping this uh, food security, uh, minimum support price also has been uh, food production, green revolution, all these topics have been. Uh, globalization and its impact of in, on Indian agriculture, all these topics have been rationalized for this year uh, for 2022-23 uh, syllabus, alright. So, now uh, let us have a look at this chart, probably if you want you can just take a snapshot of it, a snapshot of it, a screenshot of it, okay. In this uh, everything is uh, has been uh, given in a tabular form which uh, again you can make it in your uh, notebook so that uh, it will be easier for you to understand or uh, revise it. Temperature, rainfall, soil, climate type, labor pattern, frost free days and trade uh, which is their uh, area, rice, wheat, millets, maize and cotton and further we have down uh, that is the next part that is of jute, okay, pulses, sugar cane, coffee tea and all these things have been mentioned. So, I will just bring it like this so that probably it will be, it will fit for you to take a shot screenshot okay fine so i guess this is uh, key terms you can see subsistence farming green revolution millets kisan credit card and land ceiling act which was introduced that is uh, the maximum amount of holdings which a person can have fixes the maximum size of land holding that an individual or family can own kisan credit card and these were the key terms so this brings us uh, to the end of the part 2 lecture on agriculture. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.